Yeah, like general go, tips. Go for it. Spill, spill everything. Because this is really, I want people to know, like, you, there's no specific thing that makes anybody more successful than the next. And maybe compiling everybody's tips might help one other person end up with a publishing deal. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. My number one advice is never put all eggs in one basket. Uh, right now I'm talking about my Instagram experience because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I had a big following on Instagram, mm -hmm. like 30,000 people. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like all organic. But uh, a few months ago, uh, I lost my account because Instagram decided to delete it. Oh. And, yes. And my, yeah. yeah, my success was like destroyed overnight. And so always like, you know, have a control over the situation and have a way to always stay in touch with your clients, with your fans, yeah. because, you know, when I lost my account, I was really like helpless and miserable right. because, right. you know, I focused on Instagram only and mm. ended up frustrated. Absolutely. And, you know, a, a, a way to, for some of you guys watching to combat that, you know, set, set up a mailing list, you know, when yeah, people, just inside. Yeah, when people hit That's that free idea. download, get that email address or yeah, for sure. start a newsletter mm -hmm. Or you know you could you could build build up your own website and and get contacts that way. But definitely, like if social media was to shut down entirely today, how are you guys getting to your fans? Yeah, yeah. exactly. And that's the question. How are you going to get to your fans, Ben? If if Instagram shuts down today, uh, email list. You've got one. How mm -hmm. many people do you have on there? Um, it's combined between two. I've got producers for my loop kits and artists for my beats, but I think in total it's about 6,000. Wow. Which is, is okay, but. 6,000 is really good considering some people don't have any at all. So. Yeah. Um, what has been, you know, the driving force for you guys creating this music and, and staying on track? You know, I know Ben said four years you were hustling. Mm. And now you're here. So what what's pushing you? Well, in my case, like music is the perfect way to express my emotions. Mm. Well, yeah. so yeah. there is no way I could, you know, stop making music. I because it's my in my voice. I hear that for sure. What about you, Ben? What's yeah, your the, the same really? Like I'll never stop making music, but yeah, I mean the push for promoting online and being known to get somewhere is to hear my own songs with artists on that I enjoy to listen to. Mm. That's not there's nothing really better than that to be honest. When you hear a song that you made the beat and it brings you back to a time of when you made the beat or whatever and then an artist jumps on it and even sometimes they can completely change the way you even see that beat just by how they've rapped or how the beat was mixed and mastered at the end stage and it's like something new and you hear it in a different perspective almost mm. so That's yeah I mean, just hearing my own music with good just making good music really is is the drive and what's one thing you guys would want somebody to know about who you are and, and what you're 